I was a victim that turned into a villain, but now I'm an example. When I told him my red swollen eyes were just because I was tired, he believed me. I still hide my tears with the ugly statement that says I'm weak if water dripped from these two magnifying glasses. Putting people under microscopes trying to decide if they're here to hurt me or love me. Free me or cuff me, but what's ugly are these purple circles around my ankles. Like skin bracelets, they decorate my flesh, giving me my status as abused, labeling me as a victim. When I started asking him, who are you? He stomped all over my courage with a six-foot fear that I would get back up instead of turning into just like him. He picked up my vulnerability with his teeth and chewed it like bubble gum so it stuck to the yellow and black stubs in his mouth, spreading it with his tongue, expanding it with his putrid breath that smelled like the burnt flesh ignited by cigarettes, until my vulnerability burst. He picked every piece from his cracked, crusty lips, put it together and jammed it into the middle of his ashtray. But instead of being burned, I disconnected it from my heart and I left it there. I was a victim, losing parts of myself just to go on, until saving myself meant hurting someone else. And even though you are my best friend, I backhanded you with my sudden anger. I was a volcano that missed its chance to erupt, so I exploded in an ice age, and you never even gave me a chance to apologize. Instead, people made me their prisoner. They said I was a bad kid, like I was a spoiled egg, hazardous to the health of everyone around me, too dysfunctional to be normal, too tough to be a victim, and my prisoners may have been right. But I fought with what I had left, like when I fought, her smirk and smart mouth meant she was better than everybody else. But when I knocked her off her pedestal, I realized her throne was only a chair, weakly constructed of rotting wood and nails sticking out, and I had become one of those nails. I was a victim that turned into a villain. I was the abused becoming the abuser because I was so tired of being alone in my grief, and it's not fair that I had expected his love, but he gave me his hurt. She had expected my love, but instead I gave her my heart. I realized people are like dice. Every face has a different number. You have to roll them, see what side of them comes out, and the outcome is random. We put people under microscopes to decide if they're villain or victim. But try breaking the lenses so you can make no inspection. Roll the dice and lose sight of the results. Stop passing on hurt like it's a relay race, trying to get rid of your hurt from someone else. Instead, Reach out, take the next person's hand, and create a chain of trust instead of using cuffs. Run alongside them with freedom. Because losing yourself is as easily as a poet misplacing their pen. And that's easy to do. But I made it my mission to find one, write it down, tell everyone that I was a victim that turned into a villain, but now I'm an example of what it looks like to be free. Woo!